morning. It is day four. And where are we going? Niagara Falls. We're on the bus. We're going to Niagara Falls. And we're on time. And we're on time. We're just going now. We just picked up at the hotel, which is really, really convenient. Um, and we don't quite know where we're going. We know it's quite a long way, don't we? Two, bit, two hours, isn't it? Two hours, something like that. And because we're on a coach chart, so we're going to pick people up. So yeah. What we're going to get for lunch? <laughs> That's his only concern, what we're going to get for lunch. Um, Scott's been for a run this morning. How far did you run, darling? Six miles. Six miles. All round downtown Toronto and like that. So you feel refreshed, don't you? Mm -hmm. Don't feel good if you haven't had a run. So we'll... Sure, that we'll film. We had last night. Yeah, big bit of steak. So we'll have a little film as we go along. And, oh my goodness, the city's much busier this morning because obviously it is a Monday. We now stopped at our first stop, which is some um, typical Canadian souvenir shop. Um, where you want to go? It's got the usual type of uh, tacky souvenirs, we think. So we've made it to Niagara Falls area. So we're going to go on the Hornblower. Over there is America. Over here is Canada. Exciting stuff. Are you excited? <laughs> now he's very bossy this man, so you better not, not do what he says. There's no bag on. We have to clear customs. We have to film very much, shall we? Because of my um, camera. So we're just about to go. I'll film a bit, but then we've got to um, put the camera away. So uh, take you with us. But not very far. It's absolutely beautiful day. Can't believe we're here. It's amazing. The vessel. Please watch your step and hold on to the handrail, especially when going up or down stairs and disembarking. We hope you enjoy your boat tour to the falls. Thank you for choosing Hornblower Niagara Cruises. So we couldn't feel underneath there because it was just really wet, but wasn't it amazing? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Never, never row of red ponchos. Yeah, right. It's like the Handmaid's Tale, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> on the way back to Toronto, it's been brilliant, isn't it? Really, really brilliant. We're just talking to a nice couple. Doing a similar trip to us. So that's nice. And now we're going to move back. Apparently, he's lost two people. He lost two on the way. He's always there. lost two on the way. Now he's losing another two. Back. Oh, it's a really cute little town, isn't it? It's a bit like we said on Ghost Whisperer. <laughs> so we come back from a very long coach journey, wasn't it, in the end? It was really bad getting into Toronto. And we're now in a place called Scudabush. We have to put something to eat before we go back and just collapse, I think. Like that. And then we've got a pack to go to Ottawa tomorrow, 